Yo, what's good, peeps? Welcome on in. We got episode 67 of the Streamers Paradise Podcast. I'm Hazy. We got Clutch and Paul. What's good, boys? How we doing? Chilling. Chilling? Oh, you're so calm. I'm so hyped and you're so calm. Because I'm watching, so my, you know, I, it's one of those days my son's over here playing games and I'm trying to watch my, uh... My oh, yeah, yeah, he went off right in a know. quiet moment, right, right, like right in the, the thing, right at the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why I try to deafen, because sometimes you guys are talking, sometimes, sometimes you cough, sometimes a mic gets knocked, <laughs> and we do this live, man, we do this live, baby! Right, live with like live from like three locations not even not even like it's live and we're all just chilling in a sound padded room together it's like a it's... fact it's in three different places <laughs> and uh yo mr mills thank you for the 17 months the man the myth the legend thank you bro thank you for being here yes it is podcast day rowan thank you for the five months appreciate you guys i don't know what i missed um but thank you, Haran, thank you for the follow. I don't have any notifications and all that stuff on. If I miss it, I appreciate it. I'm sorry, I'll try and get you uh, with the thank you if I, if I do miss it. Welcome on in, everybody. Yeah, guys, people be trying to crash the train with no notifications. Imagine if they all that <laughs> shit was going off. It's true, they do. <laughs> um, so what's good, what's new, anything? Um, I went to Virginia this weekend at uh, you drove overnight, oh, right, with the kids? Bro, for like I a... left at wow. 4 in the morning on Saturday and then came home Sunday. I left there at, like, noon on Sunday. So you're in Jersey. How long does that take, that drive? Uh, well, so at 4 in the morning, it was a smooth five and a half hours. No traffic, no people, barely, you know, barely any cars. Uh, coming home on Sunday at noon was about seven and a half hours. Seven? That was two hours of traffic? Seven. And there was no traffic in New Jersey. So where was all the it traffic? It was all in, all, for, for literally from the minute I got out, of, like the minute I left my cousin's house, or my wife's cousin's house, to the minute I hit New Jersey. So she, they live in uh, Chesapeake, mm. which is apparently like a huge vacation spot. Okay. Uh, so, so like literally as soon as I got out of her like development onto like the main roads... It was Sunday at 12, and everybody was going home. And there's a lot of people from Jersey and New York down there, like, for, like, with vacation homes. Yeah. Like, I yeah. pulled up, dude. Like, I was driving, right? So I got out of Jersey, get to Delaware. And the beginning of Delaware is not much different than Jersey. But then it's, like, once you start getting close to Maryland, you start seeing, like, all these cornfields and shit. And I was like, all right, like, I get through Maryland. I get into Virginia. I'm like, I feel like I'm going south. Right? Like, I feel like I'm getting farther south. Yeah, you can actually tell by the, the scenery. Yeah, and then I get to the Chesapeake Bay Bridge, which is dope as fuck. It's like a 20-mile long bridge uh, with wow. two tunnels. It's, it's pretty cool. And then I was, like, in New York again. There was, like, so much traffic as soon as I got, like, right into Chesapeake off of that bridge. It's crazy. Like, yeah, that shore houses, awesome. like, shore houses right on the water, New York plates, New Jersey plates. It was like I never left. <laughs> yeah, right, right. I imagine. Um, I don't, I've never been one of, like, my family was never that kind of... Like, we never did that kind of vacation where being being from New York, we never drove down to, like, uh, any kind of, like, North Carolina, South Carolina. Like, we went to Florida a couple times, but, like, I've known there's a drive? lot of family. No, 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 no. Plane. Oh, was, that's a fucking drive. Yeah, <laughs> but the thing is, is that, like, I've known a lot of families in my life yeah. that drive down to Myrtle Beach and, like, spend two weeks every <laughs> summer and... You know what I mean? D different we go shit down like that. A couple times. I like Myrtle Beach. But you see, like, you we'll drive too, right? Here. You drive. Yeah, we drive. See, yeah, Myrtle but that's Beach. that's this that's this area. People. Oh, no, in no, this... sorry, not Myrtle Beach. Not Myrtle Beach. Whatever the fuck uh, beach it is, it doesn't Ocean matter. City. Ocean City, Maryland. It's like three and a half hours. It's quick and Ocean easy. City, nice. Ocean yeah, City is different, Ocean but, City. but it's either way. That's what people from Jersey. We got the Jersey Shore. It's fucking yeah. right there. We don't do that though. We but gotta go. This, we go gotta there. go somewhere no, else. It's like it's that's the like, oh, so for my bachelor party. People are like, oh, you going to Atlantic City? I was like, uh, bro, I'll go to Atlantic City on a fucking Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> like, why would I go there for my bachelor party? No, it's, it's like, true. But it, you still would like Vegas, right? It's the same environment. 
You know, it's the same yeah, thing. No, it's, it's just a small. Yeah, yeah. It's just a smaller scale. Yeah. Right. Atlantic City is yeah, just like a shrimp. Ghetto. Like a shrimp. <laughs> it is kind outside of outside of the hotels, yeah. out of the casinos. It's, you don't want to walk around there. So they it's, opened. Uh, but, uh, uh, but yeah, it's like a small Vegas. It's like a small Vegas. That's it. A water park in where? In Atlantic City. Yeah, it's supposed to be like the largest indoor water park in the world. When did they Somebody open was it? telling me it was built, but it's I like... I don't know if it's open yet or... No, no, it's, open. it's, it's open. open. Well, well, no, open. I'm pretty sure it's open because when I went down there... Uh, I went. I actually went down there last month, about a month ago. And we were going to go, but it's quite expensive for like a water park. But they said... Because we go to the, we always go to the same hotel. Um, we go and we always get like the same bellhop. He works the weekend, so we always see him. And we talk to him all the time. And... Um, he was telling us they, they actually increased the prices to try to keep the riffraff out. Oh, really? Make <laughs> it more like, expensive, oh, yeah. hopefully attract higher clientele. Like, yeah. Makes sense. But it's like, you know, like, it's a water park. Like, if I'm going to Atlantic City, like, I'm not looking forward to a water park. I suppose, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, depends I mean, on what goal. you're going yeah. there for. Like, you can make it a mix where it's like maybe dad likes to gamble, mom likes to drink, and there's a water park there for the kids. You know what I mean? Like, well, no, like, wait. So we, we actually go every year, every year, um, in Ju- July, right? Every year in July we go, and we take uh, take the kids with us. So we usually just go to the beach. So we go to Brigantine, which is like one town over. You actually see it from some of the hotels there, and then we go down to Ocean City, New Jersey boardwalk. So we take the kids out there in the day. We go with my in-laws. Because they, they're the ones who get us the rooms. And then it's like, they go gamble during the day. We go do our thing during the day with the kids. They'll watch the kids for us at night, and we'll hit the casinos for a little bit at night. I don't really gamble, so I just kind of chill. They eat and drink. Yeah, no, I get that part. I don't like to gamble too much either. But it's a bad it's a bad thing to have that kind of uh, attitude when you go to gamble. Like, you got to go to play. A lot of people just go and say, okay, I, I'm going to lose 300 bucks, and I'm okay with that. I'm going to stop right there. And, like, you definitely are losing that shit. Unless you hit you're lucky. You're losing it. You're in the wrong mindset. Yeah, yeah wrong mindset, mindset altogether. So, 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 so check this out. Ready? My, my baby's growing really fast. Um, I, they do that, I guess, in the beginning. <laughs> yeah. I, didn't, I didn't really, I didn't know, like, how fast it actually happens. She's, she's pushing three months old. So now she's, like, sitting up pretty much. Like, like she needs help to sit up, but she she can balance her head and she can turn and right so, like she can sit in those boppies and all that shit right. Anyway, um, <laughs> we decided that we were gonna get her high chair out. Like she had a high chair that we haven't opened yet. So I had put it up in in the uh, the closet, I guess, up on top of this shit and. Don't ask me why I did this, man, but I put something on top of that, right? It was this heavy-ass picture frame from our wedding, right? Yo, Surefire. It was smaller, smaller than the box. That the- sure, surefire, thank you for the prime sub, brother. I appreciate you. Brother or sister, I don't even, I'm sorry about that. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Welcome in. Before you even said I anything, like I think. <clears throat> um, Honestly, I'm going to guess that this picture frame was... It was smaller very he- it was very big, yes, but it was smaller than the box. But it's heavy, right. man. It's heavy. It's like it's like a special kind of thing from our wedding and where people signed it and it's got this anywho. I go and I grab it and I pull it off. And I just want you to look at my forehead. I was about to say yep, oh, I know. No way this as soon happened. as you oh, told me you know, as soon as you said I put this heavy ass picture frame on top of it, I knew where this was going. Bro, I have not felt a pain. I felt like I got stung by a bee and punched by fucking Andre the Giant at the same time, right? It was a mix of both. Livy, how you doing, Livy? Welcome in. Good to see you. Diamond Dave, what's Muhammad up? Ali, bro. Clutch World, thank you for the hype. My son has the same mark on his forehead right now from hitting his bed. <laughs> yeah, so that's what happened. I, um, I fucking whacked my... That thing just came right off and whacked me. I bled, right, bleeding right away. Then I'm all pissed off because it happened, and I know it's my fault. I know I did it. So, like, I'm talking, I'm telling Chi, like, why would I fucking put this thing up there? I'm not fucking stupid, right? Like, you know what I mean? Like, being sarcastic. 
<laughs> so then I'm trying to open up the fucking, I'm trying to open up the box that has the high chair in it. And it just won't open. So I punch through it, right? Just, right? And my hand goes through it so easy. And it's metal. So, like, I break my fucking finger. Boom, boom. Right? So, like, genuinely, I was having a bad day, right? I was, I, was having, I was having a bad day. So, like, you know how if you just punch, oh if you punch a box, like, you can get your hand through, then you rip it open, right? Like, yeah, you punch through, like, the tape lines. And yeah, you punch and... through the tape line. Yeah. I could not rip the, the corner of the box. I could not get it open. I just wasn't, the tape was not coming off. So I'm like, fuck it. And I just punched in the middle of the box to, to rip the box open. And I went through it like butter and my, and I wasn't making a big fist because I wasn't expecting that. You know what I mean? Like it was kind of <laughs> like an open hand slap, right? Like to the center of the, oh my God. It was terrible. So yeah, it was terrible. I, I, uh, and then I, I struggled exactly putting it together. So many boxes that way. All so many boxes. <laughs> right? You just punch yeah, through. Just like pop the, yeah, just like literally just tap the tape line. They usually snap. Yep. But my hand hit the metal bar in there. My finger hits the metal bar in there. The it blood's was, dripping from your forehead. Dude, it was <laughs> just a stuck mess. In the box. No. The back I was to having, back would have got me pissed. Would have got me pissed as hell. Bro, it was so bad. But then I couldn't get the thing put together, right? Like, I was doing this backwards because I was. it was just one thing after. I felt like Christmas Vacation or any vacation movie, for that matter. <laughs> That's when you just go. You just go like, all right, we'll try this tomorrow. No, I had to finish it. I get in those moods, too, where I'm like, I got to yeah. get this done. Uh, but I did. I got it done. Surefire says, I'm all in, dude. I'm glad you're all in. J-Man, thank you for the first time chat. Welcome in. I actually, um, I, after we, we always, we always talk a little bit about what's going on since the last time we had a podcast. Uh, Clutch, what's been going on with you? But after, after we catch up with Clutch, I did want to talk a little bit about how we are asking for people to put in staff applications right now. I want to touch a little bit on what we're expecting from people and... And um, I would love for more people to, to apply. Like, we, we, we're getting ready to do this temp uh, class, and I would love to see more applications. <clears throat> Goddamn those aliens for sure. J-Man99, welcome in. Clutch, what's been up with you since the last time we talked? Nah, not much, man. Same old, same old stuff. Just same thing, just fatherhood with me, you know? Like, I'm, I'm at that stage where... It's just harder for me. I think I said the last time, just managing both kids, you know, uh, having to take care of Lucas and then take care of, of her. But she's growing amazing, man. Her last doctor appointment, everything's on the right track. Uh, we all we think we had to do is switch over her formula. So Went to, uh, to, to the Gent lease. Yeah. I think I was talking about that in the chat the other week and um. Honestly, it's like it's been like a like a, a god saver. For some reason, we went we had that for Lucas and I can't remember why. Um, but Which like, one is it? The purple it's, it's one. It's Enfamil Gent Lease. Okay. Nah, my it face doesn't hurt. Because think... why? Is it hurting him? Because is the dad joke coming, Mom? I'm so sorry. Go ahead. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's not good. We started off in um, um, Similac, because that's what the hospital gave us. Yeah. We applied for a WIC, though. But when you apply for a WIC, they only help uh, cover Enfamil. So we used Enfamil for both. What both do you mean? Both my kids used it. Oh, oh, yeah. Not similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had like bad milk issues. Like, um, I think I used the purple, the purple one. Yeah, the purple one's the Infamil Gentle Lease. Yeah, that's basically. But I know. Best. Yeah, I think I used the purple one on one, and then I had to use the green one uh, for the for the other. He was like really bad. I haven't even seen it's, the green uh, one before. What's that one? Yeah, I forget, I forget, dude. Some fucking bogus expensive. So so cheap. Fat. It's just because they both had milk allergies. I'm assuming that's oh, okay. is that what that's probably is? like lactose free or whatever. No no Does no she have a problem no with that's the not milk lactose. Clutch? That's for gassiness and like fussiness. Yeah the, yeah the, yeah that's what the green one was for. But he was like even worse. He was spitting up a lot. Oh, it's probably for dip something different. Probably for acid some, reflux or some shit. Yeah, it's all some fucking. Tell me something. <laughs> Took a minute to figure it out, but well, you got to figure it out. Like she's good with it, Clutch. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like with the yellow one, she yeah. wasn't good. 
like I said, I remember Lucas being on it, so we recommended it for the doctor. She hooked it up with the paperwork, and then, um, yeah, she's been a lot more better with this. Less fussiness. She hasn't been crying like she was before. Like, it would be like after a bottle, she would start crying for no reason. Yeah, you always got to, it's harder it's for good, you to yeah. play around with those type of things, you know? It is expensive, but some problems too. with the babies at that age is, like, I can't tell you what the problem is. You got to, like, nope. I can't figure out. You just got to try this and just, oh, like, how are they reacting? Is this better or worse? Exactly. I hate yo. It is definitely my internet company or something fucking with me. It is the same, same time. time every week. <laughs> it's happening right now. It's happening right now, right? Like you can't I can hear, hear me. Right? You, yeah, I can hear it. I can hear it. So oh my god! I was driving around chilling in chat. It's just so frustrating, bro. Yeah, I don't. For get it. what? I don't get it, and it's only doing podcasts. You know, it's all it is. For what? I did a 57 hour subathon. Yeah, VIPs, you're fine. Your old gaming stream, you're fine. Just, I don't know. <laughs> just it's crazy. just, it's so frustrating. It's so frustrating. Anyway, we were talking about uh, how we did an the experiment, me and Chi, right? So, me and Chi, Chi's <laughs> breastfeeding, and, and that's a lot of work, man. Breastfeeding is so much work. I never would have thought that, you know, maintaining. That it's was. Like a schedule. It's, like it, a, it's not even a schedule. She's on. There's no schedule. She's just fucking. No. She's just got to do it whenever she's, you know, at, whenever her body tells her to. You know what I mean? So it's like, even if the baby's not hungry, she still has to. No, that's what I'm saying. It's not even the feeding the baby, it's the pumping. You got to, like, keep pumping so that it. Because if not, it just hurts. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. It just hurts. So um, it's like it's like it's like at a point where you're like pumping and then dumping because you like it's like we have so much. Oh no, we're not there yet. Our baby no. drinks every single drop and then some, which is why we have formula in the house as well. So, um, <clears throat> we have formula in the house and we were given most of it. Like most of it was given to us because of the baby shower, and then we went and got different things done at different doctors. Like we did the the 4K or the five. 4D ultrasound shit, and we got a uh, formula there. So we tried different formula, and we realized that the one, the white can, was definitely making her fussy. She realized it was definitely this shit making her fussy. So we went to the, I went to, I went to Walmart and I got the gentle leash stuff, right? And we gave that to her for a whole day, and we just saved all the, the breast milk that she pumped for that day. Right. And then the next day we gave her all breast milk and then continued that. Right. Like we always give her breast milk. She only supplements formula. But since we got her on that gentle lease for the fussiness and everything for that one day, she's been a so much better. So she only drinks breast milk and it's 90 percent of the time she's drinking breast milk. 90% of the time, but there's that extra little bit of time where she's like, yo, I want to be topped off. Like I want another ounce or whatever. Oh, I'm still hungry. <laughs> right. Right. So rather than, rather than just give her a binky or whatever, we'll give it to her because the doctor said, you want to supplement formula if they're still hungry. Like there's, you don't fat shame babies, but fat babies are no. good. Like, no, no, of course. They're good. They, they, yeah. It's healthy. They're going to eat. They're going to grow. Okay. They're growing. Like they, they're, and they're using they're like burning calories because like you're constantly building muscle like constantly like they don't have any muscle right so every movement for them is a workout that too yeah so i'm always like walking her letting her stand on her feet and we got this bouncy thing that she's in where her feet like just barely touch so like if she bounces a little then she can it's on these springs it's so dope dude to see her she likes it she starts bouncing in it and she's like oh shit <laughs> and it's got toys and, yeah all kinds of stuff on it and these like little birds on on the corners of the posts it's kind of cool the shit that they got for kids now you got to wonder why they didn't have it back then i know i know oh. that to the toys were made differently and it would have been probably so expensive to have like solid wood toys like that because that's what that shit was it would have had to have like been carved and sanded and what's wow. funny is it not it's not kids store it's not kids stuff but it's house stuff like other real estate right you guys all know. And I think it's funny because right now, hardwood floors, right? We're talking about hardwood floors are probably the most expensive floors you can put in your house. In the 60s and 70s, they put that shit in and then covered it with carpet. It was like, we'll throw this in because <laughs> it's the cheapest thing we can find. We'll cover it with a carpet. Yeah. And now it's the most expensive shit you can buy. 
Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> exactly. It's like got so toys with lead paint, all that crap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so what you know what i didn't know i never understood that whole did you eat paint chips as a kid thing i didn't understand that like why would anybody eat a paint chip anyway right did you know that lead paint is sweet no i never ate it Me that's either. why they fucking ate it of. that's why kids ate the shit wow because they were sweet so there was that it's not like like that was the Tide Pods of the of the fifties or whatever the fuck. <laughs> the yeah, Tide Pods, right? <laughs> That's okay. Tide Pods of the fifties. Mom <laughs> did know. Mom knew. I think mom made. Did mom tell me that? I don't know. I think I. Mom might have informed me about that in some conversation <laughs> we had. Actually, I don't know how I knew that, but I learned that recently. So. <clears throat> Early, so yeah. I did not know that as an adult. As a child, there's, <laughs> there's a good chance that. I knew that, or found that out. Yeah, no, I didn't know that. I didn't, I didn't know that. I didn't know that, not one bit. But, um, but yeah, it's good, man. It's good. I'm glad that she's got the formula she needs, and she's grown good. She looks just like Brit, bro. She's, huh. she's definitely Brit's twin. Definitely. In my opinion, when I see her, it looks like that to me. Definitely is. I think both of them got it. They both got her looks. I said aside right, though. They can have her looks. No, Mom's thinking Lucas, about Brits. Lucas, <laughs> Lucas looks like you and her. Oh, really? You Lucas think so? looks like both of you. Oh, yeah. I think Lucas looks like both of you for sure, for sure. Thanks. But uh, but but uh, Daniela looks like Brittany. So that's interesting to me too because um, because uh, Dingo and uh, you know Rain and Gianna are both take after their fathers like heavily, right? Like Rain Rain looks just like Dingo, and people are saying that Gianna looks just like me. I think Gianna looks like both of us. Like I think she has Gina's nose and and um, definitely her chin. Like I, she's got my cheeks, but she's got Gina's mouth, cheese mouth, and have you ever eyes compared even. like like baby pictures? Like your baby pictures yeah, so, or hers? So my newborn baby picture and her on the side profile is I. Oh, identical. But if you okay, look at okay. it, yeah, but if you look at it face to face, my nose is not even remotely close to hers. You know what I mean? Like the nose is so different. Got it. So got that's it. why. I, <clears throat> that's, that's why I would say. That's how I compare it too, why though, because like she always looked like Lucas always looked like her as a, as a kid, like when he was a newborn too. So, and the fact that she looks like her, they all grow out of it. They all start growing their features. You'll see it later yeah. on. Yeah. Like, you know. Yeah, she's changing every day, bro. It's crazy. Every day. <clears throat> mine, I, I'm told one looks like I think they both look like a mix of us and kind of like their own people they do have similarities but like I'm told there are people say oh Ben looks like his like, like his mom's twin and Jake looks like my twin and I'm like alright I guess that's weird we can split it down the middle it's, it's not bad <laughs> yeah well I think I think oh, she looks like both of us for sure but I see I see them in the cheeks mostly in my in my dogs in my dogs cheeks is what I see uh, yo, grow my, that's my uncle Mark there. Man, my fucking internet just crashed in the middle of the stream, bro. It's fucking. <laughs> he said, let hey. with my <laughs> That's what he said. My, my, my internet literally just shit on me. Uh, it's always happens at the same time. They're doing something. Maybe they're like cleaning the lines or, you know how they, they clean the static out of the lines. I don't know if maybe. No. I have fiber. My out. internet yeah. doesn't suck though. I pay for the best internet. It's trash. <laughs> <clears throat> so I was gonna Fucking... say I brought up earlier the trip to Virginia. Like I, I got sidetracked with the with the uh, like New Jersey shit, but we got um, you guys know I fish. I got my son to catch his first bass. Oh, nice man! I thought I picked you on Instagram. Trying, that's where I was trying to go with that. Yeah, man. He uh, yeah, it was great. He didn't know what to do. He did it himself though. He like, pulled the reel in and everything. And yeah, everything, uh, everything. Like and then and then he and then he like he got it close enough and then he just he was like take dad help and I like I grabbed the rod and he just ran away. <laughs> like I he once once the fish jumped out of the water and he seen how big it was he was ready to go. <laughs> but it was super cool. My son would be the same way. Uh, but that's where I wanted to go. I, I understand. Love, the... I love fishing and he loves it and it was. Does he do you take does he fish yet? Well, no. I mean, he will definitely be like disgusted by the fish too. We haven't really tried it. Oh. Um, I, I kind of get the same comparison Everybody though. Is at that age, I feel like. Oh yeah, definitely. They just, he's scared, but he's like his mother. He's scared of bugs and everything like that. It's like so weird. Um, but I, I get the comparison. He's not. He's not. But you guys live in like a city area, right? 
Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. There's not even crazy bugs out why. here. But that's why, bro. Like, if he grew up living in the fucking woods, it wouldn't be like that. He ain't from the, the country area. He's a city boy. His, his, with her grandfather's a PA. We go there all the time. He lives, like, in a... Uh, Next to like Great Wolf Lodge, it's all woods area. He just he's like his mom. Like yeah. he'll see a fucking ant in the fucking room and go crazy. Like he's OD with it. He's OD with it. <laughs> I would torture him <laughs> if he was my kid. I'd torture him. I would fucking torture him. <laughs> I actually for this one over here. I was gonna he's say I get the no, same comparison fucking, what Bo was saying though. Like like being proud of seeing your son do that. Um, I was playing Luigi Mansion a lot with my son lately, and the we beat it. Mosquito in here. <laughs> We beat the game, and he he was so like happy when he beat it, and just seeing that moment for him, because I always been a gamer myself. It was, it was a good moment for that, you know. I love seeing him. Yeah. Be happy like that. Yeah, well, like I asked him, I was like, I asked him about the fish, and he like, you can say he gets so excited that all he does is he just grins. He's just, <laughs> like, you know, like he doesn't know what to but he's just so excited. No, I don't keep. We freshwater fish, I throw back. We always throw them back. I'm there for okay. the sport. So gotcha. Um, saltwater fish, on the other hand, I bring that shit home cooking. That there is a, quick. there's a mosquito in my in my little area here, and it's driving me fucking nuts. So that Walter heat, White episode like all over again. <laughs> he likes the heat. He's like, oh, this is cozy in here, and I'm gonna get that sucker right on his forehead. That's a quick and easy one. I can't even do that, dude. My forehead's so sore from that fucking thing hitting me in the face. Yeah, you know what's you know what's uh. funny? I can see I can see the bump because of like your light. The way the lights hit in it, it's it like, hurts. It, like it like it like domes on the top of it. Was it leaking bad too? Like <laughs> I don't know if it was leaking really bad, but it was bleeding for sure. Um it was bleeding enough that when I wiped my head like there was blood in my hand, you know what I mean? Like I felt it coming down my my face. Mm. Um, oh, fuck man, it, I whatever. I pay to see that shit on TikTok somewhere. Yo, I, I wish real. that I wish that I had it on. I wish that I had a video of it. I would have posted it that because would probably, I, that would probably I go screamed. Viral. I screamed. I, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I knew for a fact it split me open too. That shit hurt, man. It shit hurt, man really bad so just, you know how i it, could like picture the anger like at yourself too like why the fuck did i do that i was so <laughs> mad who does that why would i put something on top of like there was this much space like i guess i know why i did it that we had that thing packed to the gills because of all the baby shit that was in it in boxes for so long you know and it's like slowly we're we've been taking stuff out so it like i under, i guess like i do want under- this picture and you're like I'm not gonna need this like anytime soon, but just we had know, literally like, just taken it here. down because we were moving everything around in the fucking room. We were moving all, we were just moving everything and switching everything up. And then I said <laughs> we were having such a good morning, like we we really were. It was like a nice morning. Everyone was happy. The baby was happy. And then I'm just like, let's. She's big enough to to put her in her high chair now. And then. Then even cooler, the high chair has straps in it, so like you can tighten her right up to it if you want. You know what I mean? It keeps them keeps them locked in like a seatbelt. Mm-hmm. I just I had to. I just had to want to put something together. Had to be fucking. Had, had to, to be dad. Be dad. Dad of the year. <laughs> yeah, I had to be dad on a Saturday morning and just. I was gonna say I um with the with the high chairs I used to sit them straight up and then just use the the tray to like kind of hold them up. I never really put them in the um. The lock of things, yeah, me either. And the strats. Well, she's only, strats. she's not even three months old yet, so she needs assistance to like stay sitting stay up, up one way or the other. Still, right? She can hold her head up straight, but it's not for long. She's still really new. You know what What's I mean? The name so of that chair. I don't that, fucking uh, know. Not, not, no, 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 not the high chair. <laughs> that chair that's like really deep. That like has like two leg holes, and then the back is like super high, so that they can stay sitting up in it. I think you said it before. You have one that you put her in, like a bouncy thing. No, no, no. It's a bouncy, huh? I got, I got a Mama Roo. No, no, no. no that, the Mama Roo is trash, there. though. I don't like it. I seen that. The swing, the swing. That's what I said bouncer, bumbo, a bouncer, a bumbo. It's like a seat Bum- for I'm the baby. The, the walkers. I, I have a bouncer too. I have a bouncer no, too. It's the no. I heard it's the bumbo. I heard they, they don't make the, the walkers anymore. 
the ones that actually move around, I guess. I, I fell I, down the stairs in a walker when I was a kid. That I don't think so lot, either. But, um, Maybe. I, mean, I have one so that goes bum, in a circle. Your bumbo, your, the bumbo doesn't have a, a tray on it, like a tray attachment. Oh, you're talking about the smaller ones, like the one you sit on them? Yeah, yeah, the, it's a bumbo. That's what it's it, called? It's, it's, I think that's what you start them with. Before the Let me chair. look it up. Yeah, yeah. What's a bumbo? It's basically, it's it looks a like bumbo. a seat. Like a small seat. Take a sit on Bumbo and seat. Put that. Oh yeah, no, I've seen those. Yeah, not it's not. Yeah, I don't have we one. We have one. Okay, we have one with a tray. Somebody gave us, and that's what we used, like in place of a high chair at first. Cause yeah, because that'll press him like, up real tight. Exactly. Yeah, the, the seat is super deep, and it's got a high back on it, so that'll help. Yeah, yeah, so yeah for sure. Yeah, they don't they don't go too far in that thing. That's where he had his first. Both of them had their, their first uh, like food. You don't got like so, no swing for Gianna, do you? A swing? Yeah, we have a swing for it, but that thing only is supposed to go up to 25 pounds, right? So it's like she's not going to be in that thing much longer anyway, and I don't know if it's necessarily meant for pounds so much as it is length of the kid, because Gianna's just a light baby. She's she's the normal length, right, like for, for a baby her age, but she's just petite. Uh... <clears throat> she weighs like 12 or 13 pounds or some shit like that. Does so she, does she she's, like it? She loves it. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, but like, not for long. <laughs> you know what I mean? That, shit's, that thing is about to go outside, man. For real. It's about to go in the shed because I don't know what we're going to do with it after. And by the way, I mean, we're going to have a bunch of clothes and stuff. I know that Daniela is not too far behind us, but like, we're going to have a bunch of shit too soon that like, we're going to have to give away. You know what I mean? <laughs> what clothes, size? What size? All kinds of sizes. I mean, newborn Whatever size, is. one size. And she's she's only what like a month behind. How how how, how much younger well, is she? she? How old is she, Daniela? She's yeah, she's a, a she's month a and months. a half now. Um, a month and a half. Month and a half, but she's already gone to like three to six months. Like yeah, she's, so she's even she's she's as big as uh, in that case because that's what Gianna's wearing is three to six now. So it does, it wouldn't even make sense. Yeah, We're gonna yeah, have yeah. a bunch of a bunch of baby clothes to to give away or whatever. <clears throat> If I could but, uh, make a suggestion, I don't know if you plan on having another, but I would hold on to them if you do. I hold on to some too myself. It's, it's not in the plan. <laughs> uh, it's not in the plan. I We're not even you, talking about it, actually. The fact that having a th uh, another kid 13 months after was definitely not in my plan either. <laughs> 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 Yo, stop. For a fact. It's, <laughs> just they're, stop. They're also like more, uh, how do you say it, more likely to have Fertile. it. Like more fertile, there you go. They then wanted to have it like after they have a baby. Yeah. It's like the perfect time to have them back to back. Just letting you know. <laughs> Hazy's face, like. <laughs> Might want to be safe if out she, there. She, she's working right now with E and Shapa and Toot. So she's probably listening, but she's definitely. <laughs> Yeah, there's not a fucking chance. Not even remotely, not even remotely close to to an, to an opportunity where we would have a conversation and say, "Let's do that." Ten months. That's cr that's crazy. That, that that's is. fucking nuts, dude. You are a animal. Ten months. See, there's G right back there. To back. What up, Kyle? Shit. <laughs> minor, minor thirteen months apart. Yo, so have... we've been. 13th of a 17th. <laughs> Irish twins for real. We have we have been talking about this for a while, and with, that's fine. But I did want to just bring up, guys, staff, if you're thinking about it, put, uh, putting in an application, we would really love to have you. We do not pick everybody that comes on uh, that puts in an application, and there's a number of reasons why we don't pick everyone. Okay? There's, uh, there's certain things that we need... <clears throat> that we need you to have access to. Um, there's certain things that might be going on in your life that maybe would uh, interfere with it. It's definitely a very serious, you know, job, essentially. It's a job. And uh, we need yeah, help. Don't sugarcoat it. Yeah, no, I'm not sugarcoating it at all. We've had, <laughs> we've had a bunch of applications. It's been great, and we got a good idea of what we're going to do coming up, but we still would love to see more. I would, I would like it to be a, a large group, and I'd like for everyone to make it on. 
you know, I would, I would love, well, I, I appreciate that. Sure. If I, I appreciate you saying that with the schedule, everybody's working and some people's schedules are much more, um, demanding than others. Some people don't have free time at all. Livy, we're going to, I got you. I hear you. I see you. <clears throat> I just, um, we're going to be talking about it soon. I just want to see if anybody else that maybe wants to apply will apply. And, um, Yes. It's not like it's like a, you know, only one person's going to make it. <laughs> that might happen, though. You know what I mean? Like It, it depends. I mean, but it's not necessarily true. Like, it right. It just it on depends the on them. It depends on them. Yeah. It depends on the process, you know, like if they're up for it. But it is It is a lot. It is a demanding thing. Places, it is. Uh, kind of give them a taste of the process. Of like, hey, this is what's involved. Like, so right, we, we do it. apply it and, you, and shit, but... Now, here's how it works, and here's your test. It's like, are you sure you want to do this? And there's no hard feelings if you don't, which is always nice. Exactly. Yeah. That's how it is every time. We go Jay Stowe and Kyle, I love that. I'm down. Y'all know, I know, you know what y'all need, so go after what y'all need. Hard feelings. It, you're not wrong. And, and there is no hard feelings when people don't necessarily... Um, you know, like what it is, or they can't fit it into their schedule, because that's really what it's about, right? We give we give the people that are coming onto the temp, we give them two months to learn what we do. We literally have a program, essentially, a week to week <laughs> schedule that we train you everything that you need to know, right? About the server, all that stuff, how to use Discord, <clears throat> very in depth, and. Um, we give you time slowly, little by little, each week to, to implement this stuff into your schedule. So that way it's not so much like overnight, right? Like if you just came on and it was expected of you to do X, Y, Z, and you didn't have any training on how to do it, you would be lost. And that's really what it is with this place because there's so much that goes on in the background. And that's what, that's what nobody sees it. We were actually just talking about it because they were working on something – and um, they were doing it in they're this chat that we're in. On it. They are still working on it. They're not going to stop working on it, mm -hmm. especially since, what's today, Wednesday? Toot doesn't have, I don't think Toot's working tomorrow. So her, she and him uh, are going to be up all fucking night. They are literally up all night working on shit sometimes. And I can't be more grateful that we have such dedicated people, but we need more people who are dedicated to getting this brand off the ground. Right, because we have started an insane foundation. Right, we are strong in the in the most in in all the best ways. You know, there's 96 people right now watching the podcast. Literally 96 people. And uh, I remember when we were doing the first ones, there was like 60, and we were super excited. And I mean, it's just everything. Yeah, it was 60 something. I remember I said it in the episode somewhere. I said it in the, and that was something we promoted for a while. Like we promoted it for a while. People were excited about it. It was a really good turnout. <clears throat> um, it's okay. We're going to redo it the first episode. We talk about it all the time. But we, never yeah, we do talk about it all the time, and we don't actually redo it. <clears throat> so we should plan to do that for real. But here, here's the other thing, right? There's also a lot of people that apply for staff that we're not going to give staff to or even attempt to give staff to because they're just better members, right? There's, I don't want to mess with some people's schedule. We really do want to know about you as a person and like what it is you're dealing with in your life because we don't want to add to it. We don't want to make things harder for you, right? If, if SP is a place where you're coming to escape and get away from like, you know, work, for instance, you don't want to have to come here and do more work because essentially that's what it is. We're working on merch designs. We're working on putting them in the store, right? There's reports to be done, posting, and then there are all kinds of, of um, different things that we uh, have data entry about, like the 100 Club and the VIPs and top supporters. There's just so much stuff to take care of, so much stuff to look after, and if it wasn't for the amazing people like mom and Mr. Mills and whoever else is at the top of the leaderboard this month, uh, Savage and who else? I am Pear Bear. Laura Khan, that was Mary. Yeah, a lot of people going Laura Khan. Let me see. 
And I, I just want to point out too, right there with Puggle, because she ha- she has said, "I wish I could have stayed to help, but too much going on uh, right now. The right person will come through." It, it's another thing to it. Like we're okay with that, you know. Like we we prepare you for the whole temp process, and if honestly you can't do it because honestly it is a lot, it's okay. Step down, be a great member like you are, and there's never no hard feelings, you know, because it's it's not easy. It's, it's definitely I am not. heroic. Is up there. Luau is up there. Uh-huh. Sakari, Devil Snare, Ashy. I don't even know who this person is, this name. I don't even... Mazatia? Who is that? Is that a bot or something? (laughs) What is that? Who is that person? Oh, that's Pear Bear? Bear, Oh, jeez. Pear Bear. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Pear Bear. Uh, awesome. <clears throat> I was like, what is this? Who I've never seen this name. But yeah, so what? We got Mr. Mills, Pear Bear, Mom, I Am Heroic, Laura Khan, Luau, Sakari, Devil Snare. These are all uh, members that are super active in the community and really holding it down so that way... Uh, people feel welcome when they're in the server and they're coming in and they they get uh they get some direction it's very nice it's very nice so i was staff once upon a great time and had to drop my spot and they still show love and support it's true you were staff at once kyle was staff at one time there's a there's a there's a lot of people that were staff there's a lot of people that tried staff and it wasn't for them and they maintained and stick around I so glad I joined the server. I joined last server and left because I felt ignored. And here I get a response, even if chat in the middle of another convo. Well, I, I think that everybody here is finds it to be uh, it's an important thing to make people feel welcome. I do believe that everyone finds it to be a priority. <clears throat> but please think it's about it. Too. Like you have people that are just good members that are active in chat, and it's like sometimes you don't want to lose that. Right. You that don't want to inter right. So anybody that is super active in Gen Chat and doing all that stuff, like you don't want to take that energy out of Gen Chat and have them doing work in the back end, right? Like that that that's not good. That defeats the Gen purpose. Chat gets, gets slower or Or it doesn't have as much uh, direction as it's it like did. It's just you know? not it's not even direction, it's just there's not as much character. Uh, the culture of the of the place is is um growing every day now that i'm morning's not much time now it sucks so but i'll keep lurking hope you have a great I later thanks uncle mark Way appreciate you for much. showing up it's all good sour diesel it's it's listen people people's routines change things change for people we understand that we understand that the only thing that we can say is is thank you for everything that everybody's put in at any time, right? Any time that you've ever put anybody who's ever done anything for the server, we are grateful to you. Like past and present, past and present. I mean, look at me. I used to be super active. <laughs> now I'm here once a week for an hour. <laughs> I mean, that's not always right. true. I am lagging. My internet is so true. Yeah, it is going back and forth. Ball, was there a she was there was. On some shit? There's, there might be. <laughs> <laughs> I used to. Yeah, it's all time, man. Back, back, way back when I was. I wish she was kids, back to it. Work. <laughs> Those are the good old. I days. wish I was. That, I wish I. I wish I. Really. I'm actually, more COVID. Actually, was that right? before COVID? No, no. I before. No, COVID, more COVID. I, I said. Oh, more said COVID. More COVID. Yeah, yeah, more COVID time, and I like, more COVID vacation, and I can uh, I can be, be super active again. <laughs> yeah. I actually want to start streaming again. Like I, like I want to, and then I'm like, ah, never mind. <laughs> so anybody that's listening, Trevon, that's that's awesome. I'm glad you're proud to be part. Of, proud to be SP's in my blood. I am S. I am. Right? There's a lot of people that feel that way. I am. I lead it. And uh, there's a lot of people that feel that way. And I'm so grateful to everyone. It's, 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 it's a humbling thing. You know what I mean? To, to 
to have so many supportive people around. That's SP. Uh, it's a lot. Right? Nah. And, and it, it, bro, it's been going for so long now. It's like, I feel like a broken record, but it's years. Like, years. That's years. Yeah, that's years. It's years. It's fucking... It's heavy shit. Like, there's... There's memories, there's culture, there's, yeah, plural, fucking plural. We went Mom so is totally shit. I think about there's it, we went to so much shit to go, yeah. There's more years than I gave it, than I gave it. Yo, yo, hell yeah, hell yeah. My, yo, by the way, peeps, this, the YouTube has been really picking up some traction, right? So jump on the YouTube and, and hit something up. Like, there's been a couple of videos recently that's been in the thousands of views. A couple thousand views, 5,000 views. Go go check out the YouTube. Go hit it up and... Um, I'm just checking it out right now. I'm, now I'm about to put the link yeah. in here. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to do it right there. So much growth and development over this, over this about the server. Very proud of what y'all have created. I appreciate that. Savage Kitty, always, always be there for you. Click the YouTube and check out the shit that's on there, man. There's, there's the playlist of all of the, of the, the podcast from number one all the way down to this one. That it'll be uploaded in a day or two. Um, but definitely check out what we got going on. We're really trying our best to, uh, to make YouTube partner. Right, it's YouTube partner. Yeah, basically. So we start getting monetized on YouTube at least. And... <laughs> so we're trying our best to get there. So please help us get there. Go to the YouTube, subscribe to it. We need 500 subscribers, and uh, we need a 3,000 watch hours. And we're putting a dent in it. We're putting a dent in it. But you got to watch the long form content. And um... yeah, tell your friends about it. Pull up, pull up to YouTube and let it and and play an episode if you see it, right? Like, like genuinely, even if you're not gonna watch it, do us a favor and pull it up because that will, watch time will help. It will help us get there. And it's to benefit everybody else as well. We promote a right. lot of members on the YouTube, especially in VIP. We promote everybody every week in the VIP. But even during the week, you'll see a lot of members on the on the YouTube. The shorts are doing great. Uh, it's another source of income. That, that's my idea about it. YouTubers is a lot of people are making money off of YouTube. Tremendous amount of money. Imagine us being able to put that back into the server, you know, putting it to the premium gift, adding more money to like what we already have on it. You know, that's, that's the whole idea behind it. Hopefully we get to that point. Fire. Yeah, it's a, there's, it's a different, it's a different form of content, but it's also, a good form is like a more like long form content is what I think where YouTube makes the money or becomes a thing, but it takes a little while I think to get there. Oh, we've been yeah, it does. It. We, have, we got grind. a catalog. Yep. We got a catalog of, of footage. Of co yeah, the podcast. Podcast, cool clips, the podcast shorts, on there is you everything. actually get to see the video. Right. Just, there's just listening to it. There is video. There is video. That's true. But but uh, it's also everywhere else. It is. So you can listen to it everywhere. You listen to it in the car. Watch it at work. All Just your podcast sure. platform, wherever you listen to podcasts, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Simply look up Streamers Paradise Podcast. You'll find us everywhere. We got the Buzzsprout link, though. I dropped the Buzzsprout link. Oh, that's right. You got the Buzzsprout. Do it. Yeah, yeah. That gives you to everything. With the Buzzsprout, you'll be able to download the podcast itself. But if you listen to iHeartRadio, you listen to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, it could literally takes you right there too as well. So it's um, we're close though, guys. We're close. It's a rolling sixty-five days, I think. Right? It's a rolling three sixty-five. Mm -hmm. That the YouTube stuff is rolling three sixty-five. So we have to like so get those. Numbers it doesn't matter. It's the same thing. We just it, there's no buy by any. There's really no by any, uh, it's not a year. It's every day. You just gotta, right? You just gotta keep doing it. It's just like Twitch. So let's fucking do that, guys. Let's get there and, and I mean, we, we gained like 37 subscribers or something this last week or some shit, right? Which is, which Insane. is 
a lot. It's insane. In comparison to like, I mean, we only had a couple hundred followers to begin with, so, uh, subscribers on YouTube. So to gain 37 that quick is like, it's and, and just to, yeah, that's a lot. So let's drop that YouTube again. If you're not subscribed to the YouTube, please subscribe to the YouTube. It's really important to us. It's really important to us. All type of content. Staff applications. We have 400 videos on there. It's a lot Shit. of content, bro. A lot from the community clips to the shorts to the podcast. Get the dopey video too. Make sure you about the dopey video. Shout out to my brother Dopey. Love that video. Shout out. I wish that I knew more. Oh, the vlog is man. Too. I wish Our I knew about. Very first meetup. For sure. I wish I knew more about marketing. I I, I wish. I wish that I knew how to hire um, some kind of publicist. Like, how do you even find one? It's it's hard. I, I don't. Like, how do you even find a publicist to do shit for you? Like, I, I don't know. How oh my god! Works. I watched a dopey video on my stream the other day on Saturday, and fuck. I just I I I, I tend to watch it like a lot to be honest. It's my thing. Ask Nacho. It, really? Oh yeah, I think she does. Because I'm, do I'm, tr I'm, I'm trying to get Streamers Paradise out there. I need the name out there, and I just don't know how to do it. And I mean, obviously, we would be willing to pay a promoter. We're not expecting it to be free, right? Like, well, yeah. I mean, she does a lot of blogging and marketing. Really? Let's go. All right, cool. And she's freelance. So that means she works for herself. This might be a good thing. She does. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Wherever Nacho is, let's. I'm gonna DM Nacho right now. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Just so because you know what I mean. If I'm not mistaken, I think she's right about that. Yeah. Because listen, I'm I'm not no fucking like genius with the shit. I'm learning as I'm doing it, and I just know what works is all of us doing it together. I was. You know, um, liking, I was comment, really subscribing. Twitter, you said? Instagram. I was really good, and then this was like years, a couple years ago. And then they always change everything, and that's, that's like the thing about it, bro. You got to like stay up on all the new shit. Everything, anytime they add something, you got like, mm -hmm. it's, it's a job, dude. It's a whole, that's a whole job in itself. And it was, uh, it was a pain. And that was only one platform, too. One. I don't know. Instagram. Every platform is different. I real quick. Like every platform everybody. is Thank different. Yeah. Appreciate it. To love everybody. Yeah, every platform is different. We was on TikTok for a while, and we got to the point where, you know, we were able to do live, like, live videos and shit like that. Yep. But we still, we still are on TikTok. We're just not focusing on it like we were, which is maybe a good thing, maybe a bad thing. Yeah, but we get we're gonna get back to it. I think, I think it's just more trying to push to YouTube now. Let's just now we got to that stage with that. This is our next goal in in mind, you know. YouTube, YouTube is a YouTube is a proven thing, right? It's been around for a long time. You're safe to say it's not gonna go anywhere. Oh yeah. No, it's not. Uh, it's but not it's not necessarily the best. Cool. It's not necessarily it's not the, the best, best, but the best is multiple, right? Obviously, being in multiple places is going to be the Hon best thing. Honestly, we should probably start posting on Rumble since I do a lot of cursing. That's another platform I just started hearing. That's a new like like it's streaming platform or it's no, it's like YouTube, but they're uh -huh. they're way less politically correct over there. They're kind of it's like the kick. It's like the kick of of the of the uh, <laughs> video world. <laughs> Long Okay. okay. Of long form content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not live streaming. A rumble is YouTube, but um uh, Nacho, yes, let's chat anytime tomorrow. Awesome. NC seventeen YouTube. <laughs> yeah, no, it's more than that even. It's 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 they they say all kinds of stuff. There's they they you know racial slurs and homophobic remarks and they're they're oh, very much. Let's let it go, man. Just... Yeah, yeah, very much. 
I look like I'm lagging. I hate my hate my <laughs> internet. You are like we hear it. We thing. hear it every time when you do it. <laughs> so just gonna it's shut up. It. Nah, it's all good. It's all good, <laughs> man. Yeah, but it sounds like uh, it kind of sounds like me when I was when I used to be hanging out in the voice chats all the time, driving around, getting the like Decepticon feel going. <laughs> Yeah, nothing sounds worse than Yanni right now. Look at, look, look at him. He's just a fucking <laughs> king of his throne over there. <laughs> Chill it back. Listen, I'm annoyed. Not, nothing sounds worse than Yanni when, when he's in the fucking voice chat no, with us. No, <laughs> yeah. there was nothing that was worse than that, dude. I hopped in the chat before and I was like, bro, I'm about to hop in the car and drive this mic to you. Shout out to my brother, Yanni. Had, then I found out he was on the phone. <laughs> That's it's crazy. I can't believe, though. We spend so much money on the this to happen. Yeah. It's weird. Today, today is actually dragging out longer than it usually is. Usually it's a quick fucking dip and then it's fine. Yeah. Jay still left. Yeah. All right, Jay, give me the fucking... Give me the, the slip back. Can't leave her on red. <laughs> Shout out to everybody. Appreciate that, Carnage. We're on a... What are we at? We're on the wrap-up now. Yeah. Any last words? I appreciate everybody. Fuck you, Spectrum. <laughs> <laughs> super annoyed over there. If you're listening, Spectrum, fuck you. If they're not, the aliens will let, the, will let Spectrum know. <laughs> Apologies to, you, to man, the community. Uh, it's kind of when it happened. You started talking about aliens and exposing the aliens, and they were like, "All right, hazy little shit." <laughs> Thought that was it, it, about it, aliens. Aliens. It's too much, man. Thanks yeah. for another good episode, guys. For real. For you on to get ready. Load them up. Make sure you're good. What are we going to see today? Looks like pathetic. Pathetic space. space. So that he uh, next, he's live. He's good. <laughs> yeah, he is live. I wouldn't trust my internet though to tell me if he's lagging or. <laughs> <laughs> so I appreciate the love, everybody. Yeah, I hope you had a good night. It was lit. I had a good conversation with you guys. Always, always. Oh, we got some emotes. Show me my emotes. Can we get ready to send it off? No. Always good chatting. Once again, staff yeah. applications, guys. Staff Don't apps are it. open. Open right now. Get in your chance. Show love to the we YouTube. Got a... YouTube hype. Give it a yeah, stuff. YouTube hype. We had 314 last time I looked. Hopefully, uh... On the on the YouTube, but yeah, more than that, sure, definitely... we got a 315 now. At least at least one person hit it. Let's go. We That's need 185. If that was you, I swear to God, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Yo, I hate you, bro. <laughs> I hate you so much. Yo, listen, I might be late to everything, but. At least you're here, just right? Just send me like 17 reminders, bro. 17 reminders, I'll get to it. <laughs> I will get to it, I promise. It's the worst lead by example we've ever had. <laughs> Literally the worst. All right, everybody. First. Yeah. I'm